Welcome everyone to another episode of DOS Time, and this time around it's a Halloween edition, so of course, Happy Halloween, and uh, we're going to be playing one of my uh, favorite horror PC games, and this is a game I have played before, but it's probably been 15 years or so. Uh, if you've never heard of this game before, I recommend checking it out for yourself first. Uh, it's, it does have a lot of FMV scenes, which were very popular during the early to mid-90s, so uh, it comes off, of course, very cheesy at times. Uh, but anyway, I have a lot of fond memories of this game as well as its sequel. And the game is, in question, I haven't even mentioned that yet, is The Seventh Guest. Uh, this game was released in 1993 and uh, was developed by a company called Trilobite. Uh, this was, I think, their first real game, uh, though I'm not positive on, on that. Uh, they may have made a couple of things really before that, but I, I think uh, Seventh Guest was their first kind of major success. And it, it was one of those games that I used uh, DOS for, but I think there was also a Windows version, but I could be wrong about that. But the game was also released not only for DOS and Windows PC, but it was also released for Mac, uh, as well as even a CDI. Yes, a CDI version of the game does exist, though unfortunately I have not played that version, though I'm sure I think it's pretty much exactly identical uh, to that. Basic uh, gameplay, though, before we even jump in, it's a point-and-click style game. Uh, it does have FMV, uh, FMV uh, sequences, and uh, it is puzzle-based. It's all about puzzles. There's like 20 or so puzzles in the game for you to solve, uh, and that progresses the story along as you uh, f figure out each of the puzzles. And of course, the puzzles increase in difficulty, some a lot harder than others. Uh, I do remember some of the puzzles, uh, and particularly the first puzzle that we're going to be really doing uh, is a puzzle that took me a long time as a kid. Uh, but So we're going to jump into this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I, want to do, I usually do a special Halloween play it through, but this year, uh, with this coming out on Steam, which is the version I'm actually playing, which really just emulates it using Scum VM. Um, but anyway, um, since this came out along with its sequel, so buy them, check them out on Steam. Uh, now there's really no excuse not to be able to get a hold of, the, of this game. Uh, I figured this would be the best time and opportunity to start this up. So anyway, you start up, it loads its MIDI, its MIDI driver type things, and then it jumps to this screen, the Ouija board, uh, where we can uh, load an old game if we have a save uh, and start a new game. And of course, we can quit down here. Uh, so we're gonna be starting a brand new game. That's the first time I'm actually playing it in Scum VM, so hopefully everything works. As the opening credits begin, of course, we see the house that we're going to be entering. Um, you get to see the credits beforehand, all the great people that worked on the game. Um, the thing I, I loved, one of the things I love about this game, as you already can tell, is I love the music in this game. It's always been one of my favorite aspects of the game, and I, I listen to the soundtrack a lot even now. He was a drifter, moving from town to town, robbing a gas station here. A grocery store there until one night. She was coming home from choir practice, but she never got there. Stoff took her purse and ran away. <coughs> Spent Stoff had to run and hide. He sunk even lower. He had nothing. No life, no possessions, no dreams. And that's when the V 
vision game. A doll, and in his dream, Stoff reached out. It was a gift. Stoff carved the doll, whittling the haunting face until it was an exact replica. And when he was done, Stoff went to town to a bar. The owner had a daughter. Ooh, he said his girl would love the strange doll. And Stoff offered it to the man. And the owner, in turn, offered Stoff food and a place to stay. A simple transaction. The first of many. Stoff created the puzzle just as he saw it, and everyone wanted one. Stoff opened up a shop because everyone wanted a Stoff toy. Every boy and girl in the town, from all the neighboring towns. A Stoff toy is a toy for life, people said, and no two are alike. Everyone loved his unique toys. Henry Stoff grew wealthy, but then the strange virus came, and some of the children started dying. <coughs> dying, clutching their Stoff toys so close. There was this one last vision, a last dream of a great house, a mansion that the wealthy toy maker was to build. A strange house, a house that scared people. Isn't this a cheery place? Edward, I'm not sure we should have been here today. Why? Because it's a spooky old house? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. I'll watch out for you. <laughs>
how did I get here? I remember nothing. Okay, so now we finally actually have control. They gave you the backstory of the house and then introduce you to all the guests. Uh, of course, excluding yourself, and you're kind of the obviously the first person perspective in all this. Anyway, uh, there's two floors to the house. Uh, the first floor has a certain set of puzzles, uh, not as many nearly as the second floor uh, ends up having. Uh, so we're going to start off on the first floor and go check out the left side here. Uh, we're going to lead us to our first puzzle, the cake puzzle. Clicking on the object that initiates the puzzle, of course, will then thus initiate the puzzle. I don't think it's kind of... I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. <laughs> oh, I've tasted better fare. At least he left his regrets. I'll show you mine, if you show me yours. I, uh... I don't know. Uh, oh, it says that we're each to have a piece. Exactly the same, including the symbols. Why, that's impossible! Now it's time to actually go in and start trying to solve the puzzle itself. You are a glutton for punishment. Okay, so there's 30 pieces of the cake. And basically you have to kind of cut the cake exactly the way so you have everything that you want in it. Two skulls and two stones. The rest is just icing. Puzzling. Some cannot be created more equal than others. Okay, that's going to be the first slice of the puzzle. This is going to be our second. As you can see, it contains everything that we need uh, in the puzzle description. Next up, we'll do this one over here. It contains... You can do this one next. And then the one blank. This is the only one I really fully remember, because I did this one a bunch of times uh, until I finally was able to get through this. I've never been the greatest at these types. Um, there are similar puzzles to this in like the Professor Layton series, and I got used to those. And then the last but not least puzzle uh, cake piece right here. That should there. solve everything. Uh, there we go. Don't worry, I won't bite. Edward, we could help each other out. I could help you, and you could help me. Come and talk in my bedroom upstairs, where it's nice and private. Mm -hmm. I love... I love the skulls that kind of form on everyone's face. Uh, when you should have I forgot they actually screamed there. I forgot about the scream, so I apologize uh, for trying to talk through that part. So, uh, anyway. Come to my room upstairs. I didn't mean to re-click it to go back around. There we go. That's the only puzzle we gotta solve in this in this room, so once that's done, make sure that the uh, 
icon is, is whatever icon you want it. And now we want to go inside this door. You can see she was trying to solve something in here. We open it up, and we find our next puzzle. Be warned, though. Your mind will be gorged before this night is done. <laughs> that actually backed out. Uh, return. I forgot that that backed you out. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to start again. Okay, so that resets it by going down there. That'll go back you can leave out the sides uh, basically you have to spell out a certain amount of words to solve the puzzle so what we're gonna be doing here to just figure this one out um, is on there's more to these cans than meets the eye Shy goes on the top. The word gypsy goes on the next spot. over here or is this they give you a list in the game of hints for it uh, and that that's bashful nomad craftly uh, agilely meet uh, secretively uh, oh and meet secretly near my underground vault um, which is the hardest one to figure out uh, anyway basically I remember these ones were correct, and then quickly, or uh, agilely, or whatever, agilely, I keep saying agilely, why am I saying agilely? Agilely uh, is uh, sprightly, so. This L over there. There we 
down. Now the last ones are by my crypt or my underground vault. So by my crypt. And the spell the last thing is pretty much just rearranging these ones around a little bit. And last but not least, the Y and the P. Yes. There. Now I've solved it. Right in here is another puzzle. This is a great puzzle. Okay. Finding things a little grating. Your goal in this one is trying to get an opening on the right, on the correct side. Nothing ever seems to slide into place in this place. If I plan to get around this grate, I'll need to get around. I think I messed up these two. That's the problem. Mm, okay. Let me, uh... I'm going to have to start again. So it's... Let me try I'm this one more time. Because I know I can... I have it just about right, but... Let me try.
What the heck? I'm messing up something bad with this one. I'm going to have to start again. Starts for five, definitely. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, so. Got it. I have a bad feeling about this. And this will take you down to the... How does it feel to be the first living thing to set foot in these dungeons in? I can't remember how long. Now this is uh this is a maze it ends up getting you to. So It may seem like we're going nowhere, but trust me, we are actually going somewhere here. It's this long ass maze. Now we go right. Feeling lonely. No, okay, so it was the one before this one I think you were supposed to turn. Not the actual dead end. I knew it was right near the dead end. I think it's this. And now, yep, we can finally go right. We're almost near the end of this. Maybe we can go down here. And now we should be able to make a right, if I'm correct. No, I can't make a right. So it's. Hold on. No, go. F this should be. I know we gotta make a right. This should go around. Now I should be able to make it. If I'm come all the way around. Yep. And then you make another one of these. You shouldn't have turned down ah. here. Don't 
think you'll be so lucky next time. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta. This is fun. Clearly, an open and shut case. Basically, what you have to do is you have to get all the lids to close. Finding things a little cryptic. Hmm. An open and shut case. Or casket, perhaps. The four winds change at every turn? I could get that. I knew it was something with that corner one is usually the one I went for, that lower right corner one. But uh, anyway, that's like a random one because every time you go back there, different coffins are opened at the start. So it's never the same place. Let me go! There's something wrong with her. It's all right, son. You're okay. Don't worry. She... It's just an illusion, an illusion, an illusion. And then what happens is you end up entering this coffin and it ends up taking you back to the kitchen. The only point of that was you had to solve that for, for some of that stuff, so. Anyway, we're done with the, uh, the kitchen area. For now, we can head out. And we're gonna be going actually back outside. This room, go ahead. That beats that that side of the of the first floor. And now we're gonna be actually going over here to the window puzzle or the glass uh, stained glass puzzle. My dear Mr. Dutton, welcome to my house. The arrangement is simple. 
You are to spend the night as my guest, and in exchange, I will give you your heart's most secret desire. And you know what that is, Mr. Dutton, don't you? I require one thing of you, a special service, a task that I've set up for you. There's a guest who hasn't arrived yet. A guest unlike the six of you. A very special guest. Your services involve that guest. You must wonder what that service is. But that is the game, Mr. Dutton. The puzzle I've set for you. This is all I can tell you, Mr. Dutton. In the morning, only one of my guests will walk out of this house with his or her every wish granted. This puzzle in particular, you can do at any time in the game. This is like the only one that doesn't, I don't, doesn't unlock anything it's else. Easy to find so you can actually to choose start. to do this any time. Even the very last puzzle if you want. Be. But overall, it's it's not too bad of a puzzle. Um, basically, it's all these spiders set up, and when you click on one, when you click on one spot, the spider appears, and then you click on another spot, and that's where, of course, the spider is going to end up going. I wonder if you will get the point of this. Which way should I go now? You basically want a the spider at every single point.